Well, you boys are making a big mistake. Yeah, we ever heard that before. But I have no quarrel with poor Charles Finest. In fact, I'm a great admirer of the police. <laughs> Is that a fact? Good Lord, man. I mean, if it wasn't for the police, there'd be no law and order. That's the way we see it. And without the police, where would this country be? Huh? Can you answer me that? You're making a very good point for your own arrest, you know? It's not a good idea punching commissioners. Okay, there's a little scuffle. Not the way I saw it. And then Chief Lewis jumped in and tried to break up the fight and decided to punch him, too. He was just doing his duty as an officer. It was a mistake, Chief. Things got confusing. I mistook your face for his. <laughs> huh. Believe that. You're going to try to sell me the Brooklyn Bridge next. What time. about my face, smart mouth? Did you mistake mine for Robert's, too? I never hit you. There's not a mark on you. What about this? Tell me a grown man's gonna complain about an itty bitty scratch like that. I want to complain. So should you start playing? Let's go. Let's go. Leave it. Please, Chief, can I help you? Yeah, I had to arrest this man for assault and battery on a police officer. Who was the officer? Me. Didn't he know you were chief of police? He does now. Oh, the judge is gonna have fun with this one. What's his name? Malcolm Scorpio. Scorpio? Dug at the name influence you, Sergeant. Well, take him down to booking. Hope then put him in a holding tank till the night court judge can arraign him. My pleasure. Come on, switch. Come on. Well, it's not all that bad. I was asleep. Well, don't you want to get this arraignment over with? Not if it means losing a night's sleep. I mean, you people could have waited till morning. Well, the night court judge would like to see you now. You know, you people just don't run a hospitable city. Won't even let a bloke get a nap in a warm cell. You'll get plenty of time for naps in your cell. Don't rush it. Oh, yeah. Stay where you're at. It's obvious you work for Rob. I... And we all know assault on police officers is a serious offense. Just a minute, Mr. Lombardi. The charge is that the defendant struck a police officer, a police officer, singular. The other officers wouldn't file charges. Well, you can't expect me to arraign a defendant if there are no charges. No, Your Honor, I don't. Then stick to the record. He struck one police officer. That's better. Is the officer in the court? Hello, Chief. Your Honor. Is the other officer here the one who decided not to file charges? Yes, Your Honor, Are you planning on changing your mind? No. Okay. Chief, you look well. Feel well, Your Honor. Thank you. You may both sit down. Were you planning on asking for a high bail? I was going to ask that the defendant be held without bail. Are you dangerous? Your Honor, this was an isolated incident. I was speaking to the defendant. Your Honor, I'm a pussycat. Mm. Well, you sound like a brawler to me. Forgive me, Your Honor. I was in a shipwreck. I spent a long time in freezing water. That didn't help my temper. Were you drinking? Well, I was at Kelly's. They served nothing stronger than Kelly beer, hot tea, and I drank the tea. Striking a police officer is a serious offense, one that we do not condone in this community. I think we can settle this here and now if I can have the cooperation of the district attorney and the public defender. Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Does the defendant have anything to say? No, Your Honor. All right. The defendant, Malcolm Scorpio, was sentenced to a fine of $500 and five days in jail or 30 days of community service. I'll take the community service. You cannot just release this man onto the streets. Mr. Commissioner, if you please. Your Honor, this man is dangerous. Is there some evidence the police are withholding from this court? We are gathering evidence at this moment. But you have nothing to present to me now. Uh, no. Well, you can always file charges at a later date. Your Honor, he could be on the moon by then. Are you trying to tell me how to run my court? Your Honor. Are you? No. You're related to the defendant, aren't you? That has nothing to do 
with this issue. You know what I think? I think you're trying to drag me into a family feud. Nothing could be further from the truth. I am trying to do what's best for poor Charles and the state of New York. You think you care more about this community than this court does? I think that the court does not truly understand the nature of this case. I think you are being impudent and you're trying to malign this court. And if you do not keep quiet, I will jail you for contempt. Officer Jones will take you to a halfway house. I see no permanent address for you in this town. Thank you. I want you back here by 11 o'clock tonight for your first community service. I'll check with probation. Do you understand? Absolutely. 